Hello YouTube, this is Algebra 1 and of course part 4 we're going to start with problem 30 this is a practice exam uh, that is provided by Florida Virtual School and what you should do if you would like to follow along is, is download and print out the test and attempt it and then go ahead and follow along as we do solutions number thirty an auditorium earned twenty five thousand dollars in ticket sales front section tickets cost seventy five per seat and back section tickets cost fifty dollars per seat the number of front section tickets is twice the number of back section tickets how many seats are in the front section okay well this is going to be a system of equations we're going to set f is front section B is back section. Front is twice back. And 25,000 is equal to 75 times the number of front tickets sold plus 50 times the number of back tickets sold. We want to know how many are in the front section. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this as back is equal to F over 2 and that way 25,000 equals 75 F plus 50 I can substitute F over 2 for B 25,000 equals 75 F plus 25 F 25,000 equals 100 F 250 is front tickets Two fifty. Sam has a total of 58 DVDs and CDs. The number of CDs, all right, okay, C for CD, D for DVD. CDs is two more than three times the number of DVDs. And D plus C is 58. Uh, if I, if I want to know CDs, then I'm going to solve four DVDs. That way, I can rewrite this C is equal to 3 times 58 minus C plus 2 should be able to do this C is equal to 174 minus 3C plus 2. C is equal to 176 minus 3C. Uh, okay, so 4C is equal to 176. C is equal to, to 44. And that's an answer choice. I could use these and try and figure them out without the equations, but it's not it's not too bad to to write those equations either is a valid way of attempting the problem okay now we're getting in the volume <clears throat> but it's still algebra the length of each side of a square wooden box in inches is represented by the expression 8m squared the volume of the box is 8m squared all cubed okay it just wants us to simplify this okay we can really forget the box and the length once once we see what's happening it just says let's go ahead and simplify that well 8 cubed 8 times 8 times 8 is 512 so that takes care of the constant now we're down to a 50 50 when I raise a power to a power okay when I say m squared all cubed, when I raise a power to a power, I multiply my exponents. 512 m to the sixth.
and that is 8m squared all cubed because I know it's very small and doesn't come out on, on the screen. This is x squared, y6, z5, x4, y5, z3. What is the value of the exponent of y? Okay, I could write the whole thing out, but if I just need y, that's y to the 6 times y to the 5th. When I, when I multiply two bases, with uh, same base, two different exponents, I add my exponents. 6 plus 5 is 11, so I'd write 11. And you may ask, well, why don't, why don't they just want us to, to write this product, right? x to the 6th, y to the 11th, z to the 8th. <clears throat> and the answer is because this is going to be on the computer, and um, they, they have no easy way of allowing for you to write uh, those variables and that expression so to make it a sort of fill in the blank they're gonna ask for a specific variable which is 11 so they can easily grade it uh, It makes it a little bit more confusing maybe um, but that's because they're trying to make it easy to grade make it as cost efficient as they can that's that's just something that students have to deal with nothing that's in our control or in your control unfortunately okay 34 a film designer, a set designer, is using white and colored tiles in a pattern to create paths of different lengths. If x is the length of a path in feet, the number of colored tiles needed to make it uses the rule hmm, 3xy times 7xy squared, where y represents the number of white tiles. Which simplified expression represents the number of colored tiles used for a path of length x feet? Okay. X is the length of the path in feet. The number of colored tiles needed to make it uses this rule. Y is the number of white tiles. It looks like... <clears throat> It looks like they're just making this a product, which would be 21x squared y cubed. Uh, but then why, why, why make this pattern? It's unless a, it may be it's just unnecessarily complicated. Uh, it's it seems like it's length and width but that's area it has to be a product it has to be and then that's just they're they're that's very strange but they all start with 21 so we're multiplying all together x squared y cubed okay let's move on a concert hall is in the shape of a rectangle it has a floor of length x plus six meters The floor is the length of x plus 6, call this the length, and the width of 2x minus 3. And then they go ahead and they give us this product. So they show us x plus 6, 2x minus 3. Which of the following is a simplified? Okay, you, you don't even need the picture, and you don't really need the setup. All you need for this one, unfortunately you have to read it to figure out that's all you need, is all we're doing is we're multiplying binomials, x plus 6. 2x minus 3. Let me bring this up a little bit. Okay, foil first times first is 2x squared. And then outside is minus 3x. And then inside is plus 12x. And then last times last is minus 18. 2x squared minus 3x plus 12x is plus 9x minus 18. And that's ch choice A. An elaborate setup just to multiply two binomials. In a kitchen, there are four containers that hold four different quantities of water. How many liters of water can the four containers hold in all? Well, <laughs> I, I don't know what shape these are supposed to be, but 
as, as if they hold these then I'm adding them together there's no I don't have to know volume of a cylinder it, it, it would be a very strange looking cylinder anyway all I have to do is add X plus X plus 0.5 plus X plus 1 plus X plus 1.5 and once I even get 1, 2, 3, 4 X's I can see that it's going to be 4 X this is uh, 1 and a half, 2 plus 3, 4 X plus 3 uh, a very strange setup uh, just to add binomials okay one more a greenhouse that specializes in growing peppers is divided into sections. The number of plants in each section depends on the number of sprinklers in that section. In a section with x sprinklers, there are 3x times x plus 3 plants and x plus 4 all squared yellow bell pepper plants. Okay. All I all they want what they want me to do it I, what I look for is is this one's total number of red and yellow right with x sprinklers so I'm adding these two so this is 3x times x plus 3 plus x plus 4 all squared this is 3x squared plus 9x plus x squared plus 8x plus 16 which is 4x squared plus 17x plus 16 4x squared okay choice B Okay, we'll go ahead uh, and pick it up with 38 next time. And thanks for listening. Please leave me any questions or comments you have. I know it's difficult to see, and hopefully at least what, what I'm writing you can see and follow along, and, and that this helps. Thank you.